Hey, it's Grace here on Books and Cooks, and I just wanted to film a really quick <clears throat> recent reads video. As you can hear, I'm having a little bit of uh, allergies because <laughs> I'm trying to stop taking my allergy medication. So, of course, it's popping up as soon as I'm doing that. But um, I wanted to just talk a little bit about recent reads for the month of June that were graphic novels and manga because I had a really nice month in terms of like incorporating some illustrated books into my regular reading and I found that it was some of the most fun fun reading that I did this month especially since I've been reading for the booktube prize and also reading a lot of horror um, that has been kind of darker <laughs> themed I have had a lot of fun incorporating like shorter kind of fun graphic works so one of the first things that I read when I was actually away from my friend's wedding, um, I read this like in the tent that we were staying in at the wedding, was Wash Day Diaries written by Jamila Rouser with art by Robin Smith. And I've had my eye on this graphic novel for quite a while. I've wanted to pick it up um, and it was so, so, so good. I read it within probably like an hour in the evening um, the night before the wedding, just kind of like not not comfortable because I wasn't in my own bed. So I was I wanted to read for a little bit. So I borrowed it from the library and I read it in one sitting. And this was such a good graphic novel. It follows four black women who are all friends. I think they all live in the Bronx, at least somewhere in New York. Um, and each there's like five little stories about them and each one basically like follows one character one of the women um and it relates to just her life and her like her love life her experiences mental health um you know just dealing with relationships dealing with friendship and things like that and then also um because you know the title kind of tells you that it's about wash day so it's about like doing each other's hair and doing their own hair and sort of like caring for each other and that's really what's at the heart of the story is just like four friends who come together and are there for each other and like show up through the ups and downs of life for each other and I really thought it was beautiful I think the art is really really beautifully done um, I would definitely own a copy of this for a reread because it was just a very heartwarming story and um yeah, really, really great. So I will definitely look out for more from this author um, in the future because I thought it was so fun. The next one that I read uh, was also, these are all just going to be really cute, honestly, <laughs> everything that I talk about today. So get ready for it. So the next one is Cat Plus Gamer Volume 1 by Watari Natatani, which was translated by Zach Davison. And my husband picked this out uh, we got a library card together and when we were at the library we were checking out like the graphic novels and the manga section and so he picked out this manga for me because he had seen it and well for us to read actually together because we obviously love cats we have cats um, and this is a story of a y young woman in Japan who is really into gaming and she's kind of known in her workplace for like not staying late for getting all her stuff done uh right at the end of the day so she can go home and nobody really knows what she does because she never really socializes with anyone and then she gets this chance to take home this kitten and um this kitten becomes like a main part of her life and so usually she's used to just going home and gaming all the time and then going back to work and sort of like having her two separate lives and now this kitten has like become part of her family and it's the just the story of her like getting used to taking care of a new kitten and I think um I would say if you're someone who hasn't ever had a kitten or a cat before um this is a great book to read to give you an idea of a lot of the funny things that they do the art is like just super super cute um, they have some little sections from the cat's perspective too, which I think is like really well done. And it's just, it's just very accurate to my experience of owning cats. And I also love that it follows this character who's like not all about work and she just wants to be done with that so she can go do her fun shit. So 
I that really appealed to me and I thought that that was a great premise for this series um so spoiler alert I'm gonna continue reading in this manga series they have another volume at my library and I'm gonna show it to you in a minute because it's on my my TBR to read later on but the next book that I actually finished this month was Check Please <clears throat> book one which is hashtag hockey by Ngozi Ukazu and this was everything that everyone had kind of hyped it up to be. I've seen a lot of people review this book before and I've heard really great things about it. So when I saw it on the graphic novel shelf, um, they had they have the first volume and the second volume of Check Please so I can kind of finish it. But I read the first volume probably over the course of like a couple nights. Um, and it was just, it's just a nice, really nice time. You follow this character, Biddy, who has just started in college and uh, part of going to college is that he's going to be on the hockey team. He got like basically a sports scholarship to go to his small school in Massachusetts, but he was a figure skater um, and he's gay and he loves baking. And so he, it seems like he's not necessarily out with his family. So he's like coming to college so that he can be out um, and very open with a college, right? And so there's some discussion of that, of like getting comfortable doing that while he's on a hockey team. Um, and also he's making friends and he's kind of like getting used to learning how to do hockey too, cause he did figure skating in the past. And then a lot of the comic just shows him like baking and enjoying baking as well. So it really follows this character, but it also introduces you to all of the guys on his team and they're great they're great characters it's very like i would say this is a really great graphic novel for people who really enjoy ted lasso and that kind of vibe but maybe we're a little disappointed <laughs> with the last couple of seasons i personally was kind of like meh i don't love the way that the last two seasons went in terms of the characters i feel like they didn't actually really go there with some of the um, conflict and stuff that i i wanted to see play out in those shows but this book I think um, does the same thing where it's like sports focused. There's a lot of, that's all male characters I think. I think there's one female character who's like a main character in the story but otherwise it's it's all male characters and it's really like anti-toxic masculinity within the sports space and like how do we deal with conflict and relationship and jealousy and potential romance um, within that space? And I thought it was really, really well done. So I would absolutely put my stamp of approval on this and recommend it to other people for sure. And I'm definitely going to pick up the next book um, the next time we're at the library. And so those were the things that I read this month that were kind of graphic in format. And I have three more things out of the library right now that I might pick up next. So I just wanted to quickly show those to you. So I already mentioned I have Cat Plus Gamer Volume 2. Look how cute. Look how cute that is. It's shiny, so it's hard to see it, but it's just so cute. Um, so this one, I'm sure I'll, I'll probably like read this in an afternoon because it's just so fun and then I'll be sitting around waiting for the third volume to come out. <laughs> um, I also got Jinji Ito's Cat Diary, Yan and Moo. And this is like kind of a special collection from Jinji Ito who I've never read from but I've heard great things. He does like horror manga um, specifically and I've wanted to, to read from him. Um, this one is funny. I started reading this with my husband a little bit last night and it's basically, it's not really actually a scary story so far, but the way he draws it makes it really kind of creepy. So that's really funny. And then in the middle, he has like a bunch of pictures of his own two cats who inspired this book. So I'm continuing with the cat themed graphic novels because they've been bringing me a lot of joy. Um, and then the last thing I have out from the library, I have a digital copy borrowed right now, um, is called DC Pride, The Next Generation. And this is a bind up. It's 13 different stories that feature queer DC superhero characters. So um, it's new for this year. So I think this volume 
it includes like Superman's son, the the newest Superman, who is I think bisexual or or gay, um, in the comics, which is great. But um, all all of it is basically following queer superhero characters within the DC universe. And they did, they've done a pride bind up for a few years now. So I picked this one because it's the most recent one. And I just want to kind of like dip my toe in here. But I may pick up other volumes if I really like this. So I think this will be fun. Um, yeah, so that's my update on graphic novels. I hope everyone's doing well and has a happy July. Bye!